Hello students and welcome to a handwriting lesson, the first handwriting lesson posted on your Google Classroom. We practiced handwriting today. We talked a little bit about the capital letters, the lowercase letters, using the lines correctly. You used a whiteboard and some of you used some paper I saw. Um, they really are the same thing because they have these lines, okay? And I'm gonna zoom in on a line, okay? And when we're talking about a line, we're talking about this section here, okay? I'm gonna just fill it in, okay? I know this is different. Okay, do you see all this area of blue? This is the space that you write inside of, okay? When we talk about lines, we're talking writing inside the lines. These are the lines that you need to write inside of, okay? So if you are, say, writing in here, if you're writing a letter, you need to write inside the line. There's a solid black line on top, solid black line on the bottom. It's a little different from our whiteboards. That has a red line on the bottom and a blue line on the top. Okay, I wanted to clarify that. We write inside the top line and the bottom line. So here is the next line. Look at that. We have, there's the top of it. Here's the bottom of it. So our letter has to go inside the line, like that. Okay, that's a little sloppy A. I could do better than that, but this is just for demonstration purposes that the letter A touches this top line and the bottom line. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Let me undo that. I am going to write my name right now. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to write my name nice and clearly for you. And you are going to do that on your own paper because you're not just watching this. This isn't just a YouTube video to watch and eat popcorn to. You need to be working. So get out your pencil or, and, and writing paper. Or you can use your whiteboard. That's fine too. And write your name again just as beautifully as you can. Okay, so I am going to write my name. And there's a capital M. Okay, and this isn't perfect, but we don't need perfection. We want as nice as we can without spending forever because you could spend 40 minutes writing your name, um, but that's probably not necessary. So there's my first name. I was born named Mr. And I put a period right here. And then I'm going to write my last name. That starts with a capital B. So the capital has to touch this top line and the bottom line. And there it is. There's my capital letter B for Barry. Now, the other case uh, letters are going to be lowercase. So here's my A, R, R. And then we have these confounding letters that go under the bottom line. Okay, so even though we have our guardrails of the bottom line, some of the letters will stick below, like the letter Y, the letter G, a few different letters. So anyway, there is my name. And you have written your name nicely as well. If you haven't, pause the video for a second and stop so you can finish writing, okay? Because this is a video, you don't have to listen to this all at once. You could just press pause and finish your writing. And then when you're done, you can push play again and continue on. Now I am going to practice writing the letter C because that is the first letter we want to start with because it forms the basis of other letters. So what I'm going to do first of all is make this line a little bit skinnier. I'm going to go to blue so it's easier to see. Actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to red okay, and show you something a little different here. Now I taught you that today when we do the letter C, you don't start right on the line. You don't start drawing the letter C on this dotted line. You start a little under it. See that? So what I'm going to do is make some red dots like this, okay? And I'm going to put nice spaces between them. There's no reason to crowd these all together. I want to have some nice space so each letter has space and it's easy to see. Now what I did is I made a dot. Now that is not the letter. That is just a dot so I know where to start the letter C. You can see the dot is a little bit under the dotted lines. And that is where we put our pencil, just like this, when we start writing. See that? There's a lowercase c. I'm going to do it again. 
the first thing I do is I touch this dot and then I make the arc we talked about. See that arc? You don't want to pick up your pencil. You want to keep it moving. But do you see the arc right there? But then keep it moving around and around, just like you're about to make a circle. Touch the bottom line, but let go. Don't make a, a, a circle, otherwise it'll be a letter O. We want to make a letter C. So keep doing that. You can touch the dot, make the arc, make sure you're touching the bottom line, and there you have a letter C. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of these. Lowercase c, lowercase c, lowercase c, lowercase c. Uh-oh, I messed up. Look at that. The last letter C. I mean, it looks pretty good, and it would be a totally acceptable in my class, but it's not touching the line. Look at that. It's a tiny bit floating over the ground. I, things can't just float in the air like that, so I am going to erase that one and do it again and make sure it is right on that line. So go up to there and touch the line. There we go. Now that C is touching the... The dotted line in the middle and the bottom line. <clears throat> I want you to do this at least three times. <clears throat> I'm not going to do it three times. You are. I'm going to do it one more time for you, and then you have to do this three times. Let me model for you again. If you want to get like a, a crayon or a, a little marker just to make a little dot to help you, that could be helpful. Because what I'm going to do is make dots across the, the line again, a little bit underneath the dotted line. And that's going to help us make the st start in the right place for the letter C. I might have made those a little too close. We'll find out. Okay, I'll go back to blue. Again, you touch the red dot, make the arc, finish the letter. Start on the dot, make the arc, touch the bottom line. Start on the dot, Make the arc, touch the bottom line. Start on the dot, make the arc, touch the bottom line. Start on the dot, make the arc, touch the bottom line. See that? I made it a little squiggly. You know what? That's totally fine. In class, I wouldn't make you erase that, but I want to demonstrate even better, so I'm going to do it a little bit better. And erase that one. Do it again. Try to make it not as crooked. Okay, it's a little better. Start on the dot, make the arc, touch the bottom line. Now I'm going to make a bad one. Start on the dot, make the arc, touch the bottom line. Is that a good one? No, 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 no. It went down below the bottom line. Can't do that. I'm going to have to erase it. Do it again. And if you made that mistake, you need to erase it as well. So make the arc, touch the bottom line. Start on the dot, make the arc, touch the bottom line. Start on the dot, make the arc, touch the bottom line. Whoops, that one came out a little weird. I'm going to fix it again. And you guys, if you make one that comes out a little funky, you can erase it and do it again. And one more. Start on the dot, make the arc, touch the bottom line. Okay, that was the practice of the lowercase c inside of the letter c you're going to be able to build the letter o the letter a the letter g and other letters so that's why we start with c practice it three lines okay and again if you didn't have time um, to, to finish right now you need to pause the video and finish these letter c's okay now I'm going to do the last part of this demonstration, which is this, the numbers. Okay, we did this already on the whiteboards, but I want you to do it one more time. So let me give us a little more space. We treat numbers kind of like they're capital letters because we're going to start at the very top line and go all the way down to the bottom. So there's our number one. Notice the number one is tall. Letter C is shorter. It only touches the dotted line. Number one goes all the way to the top, just like all the numbers. And then putting a space after the number one, I can make the number two. And what I'm doing now, you can't see it now, but I'm putting my finger down on the, on the paper and making a space because this is no good. 
See that? No, 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 no. That does not say one, two, three. That says one, 23. So that makes the answer wrong. You cannot um, um, leave it without the space like that. So here we go. One, two, three. Making spaces each time. Four, five. And we will practice writing each of these numbers too. Some of them are hard. Number one is simple, but numbers like number eight can drive kids to tears. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Like that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's all you gotta do today. Write the numbers 1 to 10. However, you must make them like capital letters, touching the top line and the bottom line. And you must have spaces between them. So that's it for this lesson. However, like I mentioned, this is not just for watching. This is for participating. So you need to make sure that you've done all the things we talked about. That you understand that when I say write inside the lines, I'm talking about like this right here. You got this top line and this bottom line, and the top of the capital letter would be up here, and the bottom will be down here. Okay, so this is one line. Okay, here's the next line where I wrote my name, Mr. Barry. Okay, notice we have mixed up capital letters right there. Oh, that was not a very good arrow, Mr. Barry. Thankfully, erasing is just as easy as that. So here, is a capital letter M and a capital letter B. And notice they're tall. And the other ones, we got lowercase, 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 and lowercase. Okay, the lowercase letters, they touch the dotted line. Then you also practice the letter C, making sure to have a dot and make an arc that comes up and around a little arc you made three of those lines okay three whoops <laughs> let me switch colors here three times all right three times letter c and then we did the numbers that was the final thing just write one through ten like capital letters where they touch the top line and the bottom line. That is it for today. Get all that finished and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.